and close your eyes and watch your breath. Start with a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Otherwise, the mind gets too quiet, the breath gets so small, it's hard to track. And the energy of the body goes down. That's not what we're after. The stillness of the mind has to be in a body that's energized. So breathe in a way that's energizing to begin with, and then allow things to s settle down. This is an important principle. Otherwise, your health is going to suffer from long bouts of very, very quiet breathing. This is an important principle in the meditation, is learning how to vary your breath to fit with the needs of the body and to fit with the needs of the mind. Because we're getting in the present moment not just to hang out, but to study and explore. And this is one of the ways of studying it, is to look at the way the breath has an impact on the body and the way it has an impact on the mind. And of course, what impact does the mind have on the breath and what impact does the body have on the breath? You want to look at these things, study them. We're here in the present moment to study, to learn. It's not like studying a book. You have to learn how to read your own mind and read the breath, read the body. It's like a different language. It takes a while to get used to the language. But then you begin to realize that all of these processes have an impact on one another. And there's certain of them that you can exert some control over. So you want to make use of that control. Make a skillful use of that control, because it's watching the mind in action like this that you begin to get some insight. You can see things arising and passing away, but if you don't know why they're arising and don't know why they're passing away, you haven't really learned all that much. You want to see the connections, and when you see the connections, that's when you get more and more skillful. So pay attention to what the body needs in terms of the breath. On a hot day like this, what kind of breathing does it need? Where in the body should you focus your attention so that the heat is not oppressive? There are cool sensations in the body, even on a hot day, so look for them. Just as when there's a cold day outside, we're talking about looking for the warmth inside. Well, now you look for the cool sensations inside and allow them to flow along with the breath as well. This way may make it easier to stay in the present moment, so you can watch even, even more deeply, even more thoroughly. So learn to strategize a bit as you stay here in the present. Don't just complain about the weather or complain about this side or the bugs or whatever. There are ways that you can be with these things and not suffer. That's the skill we're looking for. And it involves playing with the thoughts of the mind, playing with the sensations in the body. It's both play and work. And the work in the sense that you really accomplish something important, and play in the sense that it can be enjoyable. to learn how to combine the two in a skillful way.